Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I am no longer Dreamer Phoenix Tarot. I am Quintessential Tarot, just to put it out there. Um, I think it may have changed already. I don't know. You know, technology is slow sometimes. But I changed the name because I, my name is Quentin, of course. So I wanted to make a cute little play on my name. So Quentin and I am very essential, I think. Anyway. <laughs> That's my name change. Um, Aquarius, I hope you all are doing well. And I changed the style up of the readings a bit. So if you see me looking over, I'm looking at my notes because I, I wrote down what um, questions I'm kind of wanting to ask with this for these readings. But sometimes I can't read my damn writing. But uh, anyway, this first one is seeing where your energy is, obviously. So, Aquarius, right now your energy is... We have the moon. So something is a secret. Are there something that is being kept a secret? Or something that has not been fully or truly revealed yet? Um, maybe a baby. I don't know, for some of you... Maybe if there's a secret baby, that word, and I just saw a baby and now a cradle in my head. So, you know, these readings can get messy sometimes, but maybe there's a child or maybe someone, maybe someone you're dealing with is being childish. That could be something as well. But there's something that's hidden about this situation. And some things that have not quite been fully uh, fully exposed yet, fully talked about, but soon they will be because there's gonna be it's gonna be like an an emotional overload. Um, there's gonna be something that somebody can no longer keep to themselves and. They're gonna get to a point where they're gonna get to a point where they just have to let this out and just have to talk about whatever the situation is. <clears throat> to clarify, we have gift. So maybe this could be looked at as a gift. Um in some ways because letting this information out and exposing this information out i feel as if it was it's as i said it was taking an emotional toll on somebody because um it it is going to be like it's it's already emotional overload right now at this point so being able to expose this or being able to speak this or get this information out or reveal something this will be a great relief to somebody this will be a great relief to somebody because somebody is realizing now that they've had to really go within and really just figure out themselves their own life and really build up the strength to really build up the strength to speak about this certain part of their life <clears throat> pretty much really built really building up the strength to be speak about this a certain part of their life uh some people could be receiving a gift or thinking about uh sending a gift this could be a secret gift as well this could be a gift that um someone is not aware of but it's um it's a gift that's sent out of love a gift that's sent it's it's a thoughtful gift it might not be something huge but it's something still that is from from the heart so what guidance will help heal this situation or help facilitate movement for this situation we get the Eight of Cups. This came out in the reading I just did for Pisces. Um, only it came out in the upright for them. But for you all, I'm still going to read it the way that I'm interpreting it right now. So 
in order for this situation to move forward, there's going to take some movement. Somebody is going to have to find the emotional strength and the emotional depth to return to something. So if this is someone who maybe walked away from a situation because they were keeping secrets uh, within a relationship or there were just some things that weren't being discussed, now they want to come back and maybe they want to come back with an offer and a little apology or a gift or something so you won't cut their head off. But um, yeah, someone wants to offer an apology and revisit a situation. Revisit some old situations, maybe not in a harsh way, I'm hoping. Because this will bring them great fortune. This will, well, obviously great fortune. <laughs> I mean, hey, maybe this might elevate them, elevate their pockets. And I say that because maybe healing a situation from the past and getting some things off their chest might energetically release them from some karma. And then it frees up karma in other ways in their life. And maybe they're able to get that job or maybe they're able to get that promotion, uh, win that, get that uh, winning lottery ticket do something i don't know go forward in school so i said that in a very flippant way but it's very true and i'm sure that's going to resonate with some people in the aquarius out here who's watching this video so you might if you have not done this yet or if you're dealing with someone uh, maybe who's in your energy who hasn't done this yet this might be a good time to revisit the past and if you're the one who wronged someone, or even if you didn't, maybe it's saying that be the bigger person, of course, and take the high road in the situation and reach out. And maybe you'll learn some things that you weren't quite privy to. <clears throat> or maybe someone is ready to now share some things with you. But there's some things that are still definitely a secret. Some things that you think you know, but you don't know most of it. But if someone comes forward or moves forward, then uh, this can potentially change. So, but someone is definitely, I think, returning or something is definitely returning. This could also be meaning someone is returning to give money. So this gift could be some money. This gift could be money that's owed. Maybe someone stole money from someone and this was a secret before and now they're coming back because they feel bad and they're saying, okay, I wanna make this right. I want to make my own karma right. So I wanna return this money. Um, What additional supportive guidance? Who else is involved? So we have the nine of wands. So somebody is in, it's in reverse though. So somebody is in, um, somebody was in defensive state. Very secretive, very guarded. However, now, they want to come forward. And this is what I was saying about the moon energy and just these secrets and think the unknown. So for this to be the very, that to be the very first card, that's letting me know that, yes, yeah, someone wants to reveal something. And then we have the eight of cups in reverse talking about something or someone returning and the nine of wands in reverse which speaks about someone being on the defense if it in the upright but in the reverse is saying someone who's just dropping their guard a bit so someone's ready to drop the guard about something and reveal some secrets Ooh, i love it it's aquarius somebody's ready to drop that guard and give that apology they're still thinking about the action um, so far, yeah, this is this is a love situation. We have the lovers here, or some situation that is dealing with 
uh, you know, any any situation in your life. Um, but it's about making a choice first and foremost. This lover's card. So someone is chosen. Someone has chosen something. They've chosen to finally step up. They've chosen to finally remove themselves from this energy of um, being on the defense. And I think just being being in victim mode as well. Um, that's what I'm getting, Aquarius. Somebody was in heavy victim mode and they weren't taking responsibility and accountability for the ways that they were acting and treating people. And they were just wondering why they always felt as if they were stuck or they were finding themselves in the same um, the same emotion or the same situations. Well, it's because they kept doing the same things over and over again. And maybe choosing wrong partners, uh, making wrong or incorrect business decisions, but they just kept choosing. They kept, it was their choice. They were choosing to do these things. And as simple as that. We all have choices in this life. You know, we are predestined here to come through to do what we're supposed to and fulfill missions. Um, you know, if not, there are consequences to it. But again, just like my series is, and if you haven't checked out my series, Pick Your Adventure, we, we I think we go through every scenario that we can. <laughs> At least I do it now in this human form. So I just feel that in our ethereal form, before we come back in our latest carnation, incarnations, we go through every scenario and say, what if I chose this? What if I chose to go down this road? What if I chose to go down this road? What if I did this instead of this? We go down every possible scenario. So that way in life, when we find ourselves doing the same things, and then we finally make that choice. It's already something that's going to happen anyway. So it's free will because we're choosing different things. However, we've already gone through all the options in our head. Uh, gone through all the options in the uh, spirit realm anyway. So somebody, you know, um, people choose to be in negative behavior. People choose to keep themselves and negative thinking and in that victim mode but re in reality they really need to start choosing to take responsibility uh, for them their own actions so the um, what others are involved or what are the lessons learned so we have the seven of coins so lessons learned, the others involved right here is telling me that somebody is learning to invest. Somebody is learning to invest in other things, possibly in learning to invest in themselves. Um, maybe someone was putting their investments in the wrong pile the wrong person, the wrong things. And now they want to come back to offer this apology to um, change the karma. And get out of this defensive energy and, stop, and finally choosing, finally choosing to invest in themselves. Then we have the wealthy man, which is interesting that the wealthy man comes out beside the coins card. <laughs> so this is this is telling me that someone has possibly gained the confidence within themselves. They've gained the the um, you know the knowledge, maybe gain some coin, gain some money. Learn how to invest, but if this whether this was a financial investment or whether this was just a investment within themselves, there was an investment an investment made. Someone chose to invest within themselves. The investment. Yes, that's the, that's the title of this video. I'm thinking of titles in the videos now. 
to make them more appealing. So just little things as we go along. So your title is called The Investment, I think, so far. <laughs> but, oh, wow, interesting. So the Judgment card comes out, and it came out in the same position that I had for, um, that I did just did for Pisces right here. And this position is... Um, how are you being presented in this situation? Or maybe the person you're dealing with. What? How? How? How are you? Are they being presented? Or however. Um, same thing with Pisces. There's some things that still need to be cleared up. There are some things that are not quite done. And this is of concern to someone we have concern so someone is worried something dealing with health as well health came out in Pisces reading but that actually had a health card I think that came out but that was the first thing that just popped in my mind a family something dealing with family but there's something that's not done and I think that's what the outlook is of this situation now. So there's something dealing with a family situation of something. Maybe someone in the family is sick. <clears throat> yeah, something not quite done, not quite dead yet. No offense if someone is sick. <laughs> you know, I don't mean it that way. But I'm just meaning this situation is not quite done. Something's not quite done. Or it feels done. It feel, something feels final and something feels complete to someone. And this is very, it's upsetting, it's troubling to uh, someone else. So they are concerned that something is done. Um, so maybe this is saying that if this involves two people or two situations that one person chose has chosen now to invest in themselves and now um, they've worked on their money, their finances, um, their health, their own well-being and own emotional and uh, mental well-being, physical well-being as well. And now someone else feels that this situation is dead and that it's done and it's very troubling and it's very concerning for them and the heart of the matter is you have the sun in reverse and then toil and labor yeah so this could be both parties one person could feel that this has been a lot of work and so they're not putting enough they're not putting any more of their strength into this because it has been a lot of work for them and the other person is possibly feeling as if the same thing this has been a lot of work but i feel as if it's been work for different reasons on both sides it's taken enough strength to hold it up possibly one person was um holding this situation for one reason and the other person was holding up for it different reasons however that resonates but it's been um a labor of love <laughs> is what i'm getting it's been a labor of love um but just it's been very hard work to keep this stuff up keep this situation afloat or keep it going but the beauty of this is somebody made the investment within themselves. Um, yeah, because this is the lesson that's being learned are the lessons for everyone. So I acquit. Oh, wait a minute. I need to pull your outcome card. See, sorry, I'm getting used to this format. <laughs> By next week, I should have it down, hopefully. I like this little format that I... Alright, so the outcome for this, let's see. Like I said, both people right now, they're not putting much work into it because it's been a lot. 
But someone, as I said, they want, they've made a decision about something, made a decision about moving forward, coming out of the dark. Uh, yep, as I said that, because we have the two of wands in reverse. So someone doesn't feel mentally trapped anymore. And then we have house. <clears throat> and I said coming out of the dark. So as I turn the, this card over, all the lights are on in this house. So yeah, somebody is coming to shed some light on a subject. So that is the potential outcome. Yet, yeah, even though it ended, you know, people were tired of putting strength into it. But someone knows that they need to return, that they need to come back to make things, to adjust, to balance some things. But the beauty of this is that people have learned to invest in themselves. At least one person has, and maybe now they can teach that to the other in some way. But someone has finally made a decision to uh, come out of that mental imprisonment that they were in. And they're going to shed some light on the subject right now. Well, not right now, but it, somehow, some way, maybe this week for you or sometime in the future, maybe in the next two months. But that is your reading for now. Keep your energy up, Aquarius. Keep your vibrations high and just keep doing what you're doing. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.